respective server faces. An ASP is Microsoft's first server-side scripting engine, which is basically used for making more interactive and dynamic web pages. An ASP is just an HTML page, which includes scripts. And these scripts are processed under Microsoft Web Server and then sent to the client browser. You can say an ASP is somewhat similar to common gateway interface application. Uh, with active server pages, the server gets a chance to alter the data before sending it to the user. So if you have .asp extension in your file, then server runs this file through a DLL called asp.dll. So for using uh, ASP, there are some basic requirements for that. Uh, you, sh you, you should be running a Microsoft Web Server in your computer system. If you have Windows NT 4.0, then you can use IIS 3.0 or 4.0. And if you have Windows 2000, then you can use IIS 4.0. And if you have Windows 9X or Windows NT workstation, then you can use a personal web server. All of these products can be easily downloaded for free from the web Microsoft website www.microsoftweb.com. You can create an ASP file by including the scripts and scripts are written in DBScript or JSON. You can, and remember, you will always name your ASP file with .asp extension. And you can also create ASP.NET applications which are written in Visual Basic, C Sharp or J Sharp, etc. ASP.NET applications provide a better performance than the ASP, uh, ASP scripts. So the, we are having the two terms, ASP and ASP.NET. The basic difference between ASP and ASP.NET is, ASP is interpreted while ASP.NET is compiled. Means, ASP includes DBScript and JScript, which are interpreted when compiled. And ASP.NET are the ASP .NET uses Visual Basic, C Sharp and J Sharp, which are Microsoft interpreted languages. So guys, that's it for